Good morning, or no. <laughs> What? Good afternoon. Definitely an afternoon. It's three o'clock. Thank you so much to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. Um, today's Monday. I figured I'd do another week in my life. I had fun filming last week's and I feel like you'll enjoy them more too because it's kind of like a good comprehensive overview of the entire week instead of like one day. And when I do day in my life, it's just harder because I do the same thing every day and I feel like it's easier to show differences when I do it over a week. But anyways, I am in a hurry. I have to run to the store. It's Monday, so that means grocery pickup. So I'm gonna do curbside at HEB between 3.30 and 4, but it's 3.05 right now, but I need to run in Trader Joe's and Target first. I'm just wearing this long sleeve. Um, this is from Sunday Best from Aritzia. Got it last year, so I'll link it down below if it's still in stock. Anna Luisa necklace, Adidas hat. I'm wearing my Lululemon Align joggers and my black Adidas memory foam slides because I just felt like they looked best with the outfit and that's kind of just what I put on when I have to leave briefly and I'm wearing my Lululemon belt bag that I showed you all I got. Um, I've got my keys and wallet in there so we are going to run these errands and I've got my green smoothie that I just made because I ate leftover like homemade fried rice for lunch but I just needed like a pick me up and I'm so exhausted from studying so I'm just like I don't know trying to time myself over until dinner but let's go get these errands done and have a great week this week I'm really wanting to hopefully get into the holiday spirit in terms of like Christmas and stuff and I'm not like skipping over Thanksgiving I just like to start celebrating Christmas and like decorating for it and everything and getting in the spirit way ahead of time so we'll probably put up the Christmas tree this week um, look at some Christmas decorations that kind of thing so let's get to it Back home from the store, it's 4.37 and I still have two more modules to finish and it's like leases. So it's going to be just like very dense stuff that I just like don't feel like doing right now. Um, I'm so mentally exhausted, but I have to do it anyways. But H-E-B, this is what I got from curbside pickup. This is a trail mix I like, the Texas Heat from H-E-B. Griffin likes this gourmet nut um, protein, protein pack. So he has two of those. We've got some bananas, turkey meat. They've been out of the turkey meat we normally get for like three weeks, I think, and they finally had it. Um, got some shredded lettuce, salmon, raspberries, guac, cilantro, green beans, broccolini, and this is like a, just a random little salad kit, sunflower crunch. And I got two of these big things of oats because we need to restock our big container over there, but I only put one right here for the sake of the haul. Um, and then these little hatch chilies, great northern beans, sesame seeds, um, diced tomatoes with green chilies, pinto beans, and fat-free refried black beans, sesame oil, planet oat vanilla oat milk creamer, some chicken broth, and then Topo Chico is also like out of stock every week, like every kind of it. Glass bottle, plastic bottle, grapefruit, lime, it's all gone. I've never, I don't think I've had this kind before, so we're going to try it out, but it's these giant bottles. I thought I got more than one apple and lemon, but I think I just thought I added like two or three and I only added one to my cart. Um, so yeah, one apple, one lemon, a yellow pepper, two limes. And then Trader Joe's was also out of basically everything. They didn't have the like pumpkin cranberry crisp I went in there for. They didn't have the cold brew. They didn't have any cold brew there, I don't think, today. Um, but the cold brew we normally get, they didn't have the street corn I normally get. Um, so it was just kind of a bust. So I literally got these hash browns just because I was like, let's try them. Um, and this roasted corn, the substitute for the street corn. And then two things of just mango. Um, some green onion also from H-E-B. Tampons also from H-E-B. We also have our chicken breast, chicken thighs, and ground beef over here too. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all this up. Also, I picked up this bad boy from Target. <laughs> um, I had a order pickup in store, whatever. I ordered it yesterday because I've been wanting an Instant Pot for a while. And I saw yesterday when I went to go like look, I was placing a pickup order for some other stuff, just like random like 
computer paper and stuff like that saw i was like i'm gonna go ahead and like see if it's on sale because i know that they go on sale like kind of often it was like 30 or 40 percent off and i also had like a random gift card on my account which i completely forgot about so i was like oh my gosh this is a perfect time to get it so i'm so excited because one of um I, like i can make like rice in it i can make soups meat obviously um and i'm really excited i've wanted one for a while so like we officially have like a crock pot air fryer and instant pot do we actually need all three i don't know but i do think that this will be really good for um certain recipes and stuff that are a lot easier to do in an instant pot so i'm super excited about this first thing in the instant pot hopefully a success um i just did the, the rice setting you literally just do a cup of water cup of rice and then press the rice button and it's done in like 15 minutes max and we've got some crispy green beans and then the sand's already done it's just sitting in here to stay warm and i've got some sparkling water in here so friend has got his anime behind me i'm so mentally exhausted i had to do bonds and leases today just from i pretty much do five modules a day and i don't really like pay attention like if they're gonna be like very dense models modules or not so those are probably like two of the most dense things luckily i remember both of them pretty well from college but they're still like i didn't do very good on the multiple choice just because i can't like sit there and answer like 45 computational questions about one thing like because you just start to get so like mentally checked out so I'm super drained from that and it feels like I just did stuff for the sake of getting it done but didn't actually retain anything it's the worst feeling so I'm giving up on that um but I got my five modules done so at least I got it done but I just heated up my little heating thing we've had this in our family for I don't know how long like literally since I was little and my mom gave it to me when I went to college and I literally had it tucked into the waistband of my Align joggers earlier today when I was studying. I'm about to do it again, but I have to edit, so that's what I do right now. You all know in this vlog, one of my objectives is to prepare my apartment for the holiday season and to just sort of get in the holiday spirit. Um, now that Halloween's over, I'm the type of person that just immediately is like, it is Christmas season for me. Thanksgiving has its day, but I like to have my Christmas decorations and like be getting myself in the Christmas spirit pretty much all of November once Halloween's over and then December, obviously. But I wanted to share with you all how I am making my own do-it-yourself holiday gift tags with my Cricut Maker. You all know I've made plenty of things with my Cricut Maker before. I have just made so many things over the last year and I absolutely love my Cricut Maker and the variety of projects that I'm able to make with it. You can make personal touches to your gifts that you're gonna be giving this season with your Cricut Maker by making holiday gift tags like I'm gonna be showing you all how I made today. And you can also make gifts with your Cricut Maker. Or you can even update the interior and exterior of your home by making decor with your Cricut Maker. So I'm gonna be showing you all how I made my own do-it-yourself holiday gift tags. They're super simple and easy and quick and I had so much fun making them. It like really got me in like the holiday spirit. I'm so excited to be like decorating my apartment for Christmas but I'm so happy that I'm gonna have like this homemade personal touch to my gifts because I'm actually terrible at wrapping gifts. If y'all remember my vlogmas last year, y'all saw my awful wrapping jobs. So my wrapping may not be impressive but at least my embellishments for wrapping are. I will leave the link to my specific Cricut Maker in the description box, as well as all of the products and tools I used to make my gift tags today. Here is what the final results of the tags looks like. And to do this, you're just gonna need some cardstock of your choice, a weeding tool, a pen to write who it's to and from, a scraper tool, some twine or ribbon, and a mat. And then you want to go into Cricut Design Space and search in the images Christmas tags. They have literally so many and 
you can pay monthly for a subscription to access these instead of having to pay for them individually, but it's just up to you and how much you use your Cricut. I chose this Holly Jolly one. I resized it and then messed around with the colors and you can like do whatever colors you want. Um, I ended up going with a dark green in the background and then the red Holly Jolly overlay. And then I just separated them and split them up for how many tags I wanted. Then I put my red cardstock on my strong grip mat. I do recommend actually using a light grip mat for this process or just a standard grip and not a strong grip. I ended up using the light grip on the next um, cut on the green paper, but then I loaded my mat in and I selected the cardstock I was using and then had my uh, point loaded in clamp B and then I will let the Cricut get to work and cut out all of the little holly jolly parts first. Um, and then I unloaded the mat and I was able to basically go in and I could go ahead and start the next cut for the background of the tags, but I wanted to go ahead and weed out all of the little holly jolly parts, um, obviously. And that way I could just kind of like make sure I did everything right. And that way we could go ahead and go straight into the green background, which I loaded the mat again. And then I just let it continue its cut. Um, from my computer on design space and then I cut all those out and then I just pulled those out with my weeding tool as well and I suggested a light grip mat just because the cardstock is more prone to stick and be harder to pull off on the strong grip and then I used the weeding tool to just punch a little hole in the background green piece um, you can use a whole punch or two but I just used the weeding tool then I cut some of this ribbon a uh, little twine stuff I had you can use whatever you want make a bigger hole and use a bigger ribbon if you want and then I pulled it through with them layered on top of each other and you can glue them together if you want but I kind of liked them having a little bit of just like flexibility and movement and that's what the final product looks like be sure to check out Cricut Maker in the description if you've been looking at one whether you want one for Christmas or you want to get gift one for Christmas or if you're just looking to really start like spicing up your crafts and making things yourself instead of buying things then definitely check out the Cricut Maker in the description below and thank you so much to Cricut for sponsoring today's video to go watch the game where are we going uh beer market beer market i'm wearing the same shirt i wore in my last vlog <laughs> um because it's the only actual shirt i have so wearing that griffin is not wanting to wear his jersey because of superstition and by that same rule i should not be wearing the shirt right now but i'm like i don't i what, what else do i do these h&m joggers that i got him for our anniversary i'm trying to get them into like street style you know um so like most of his stuff is very like college frat boy ish not not to not in like a bad way, just like your Peter Millar like polos, gym, gym stuff. Yeah, yeah, you have one extreme or the other. I'm like, you need an every day in between. So I like kind of shopped for him for our anniversary. Ooh. And then um, he's got these new shoes that I got him. They're like a, not tan. I don't really know what color to call this. Um, uh, rhino? I don't know. <laughs> rhino. That's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. Um, yeah, so I have my thrifted shirt, black Zara jeans, and my white platform Doc Martens. I'm going to put on my... Black seat Madam purse probably, I don't know. Okay, we're back home, about to go to bed. Results were not what we wanted, obviously. Um, but I just picked up packages really quick. Got some Loverboy espresso martinis in the mail. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna drink these. Probably gonna wait till we have like friends over or something. One of my best friends, she told me about these a long time ago and she was like, they go out of stock all the time, so like be sure to hop on them if you want to try them because they're really good. But they're basically espresso martinis and cans um, with a kiss of vanilla and they are zero sugar added and gluten free and made with like real espresso. So I'm so excited to try them and I thought about them the other day and I finally was like, I'm gonna go check the website and see if they have them. And they do. It's definitely not something I'll like regularly keep stock because they're definitely like pricier, like pricier than getting like white claws or something like that or a seltzer, but I wanted to try them at least. So I got some and um, I got some more espresso pods in the mail. We just have the, uh, I got 20 of the caramel cookie 
just in the classic flavor, I got 10 of the Altissimo espresso shots for making like iced lattes. And then they have peppermint pinwheel. This one's so good. Um, it's so good. So good for the holidays. So um, I got one of those. But I'm going to sign off for the night and I'll see you all tomorrow. Good afternoon everyone it's wednesday um i haven't vlogged yet today just been getting work done so i told y'all last night how i didn't finish the last module that i wanted to get done yesterday or that i was supposed to get done yesterday so i was like i'll do it tomorrow meaning today so today i was supposed to do all of like f7 which is the last one for me um for lectures and multiple choice and i've literally it's like 205 and i've only finished one lecture and half of a multiple choice and it's because i just had so many like random things come up this morning that i like forgot about i had to get some like editing wrapped up on a video had to export it and then i had to go back and like re-edit something i forgot to edit and re-export it send that in um i had some emails to take care of and i was on the phone with my dad for a bit because we're coordinating a very exciting trip coming up soon that we're going on that's not last minute for like um my parents but it's like last minute for um, us so I'm super excited to share like more about that later so um, I was kind of doing a lot of research for that and I got carried away doing that and I was on the phone for a bit and um, it's about the pour down rain pretty much for the rest of today and all day tomorrow so I just wanted to get Ella a nice walk in so that's what I just did it's Good morning everyone happy thursday i feel like i haven't vlogged like talked in a minute um and i feel like i don't have that much footage for this week of my life but it's thursday and i stayed up pretty late finishing my um cpa stuff last night i pretty much worked on it until like 11 30 but i don't i think i updated y'all yesterday at one point i was like i've gotten like nothing done today and I was only planning on doing four of the six modules of my last section um, for lecture multiple choice, but I ended up doing all six yesterday because I was just like, let me just push through. It's got like a little bit of a second wind at night. So I pushed through so I pushed through and I finished it. And which is nice because today um, is like my day off. When I took audit, I didn't have any days off of studying. I just didn't build any into I don't think I built one into my study schedule though, to be honest, just because it was like a, such a short study time frame so with it being for far and far being my third one and taking that all of them back to back i was like i need, i'm gonna need a day off like once i finish lectures and multiple choice before i start doing all the sims so i'm very thankful that i built this day off and um and i'm so excited that today's the day off because it's like the perfect fall day it's so gloomy out and it's like actually really cold the high is like 62 and it's like 50 out right now so i'm like thriving and i'm just excited because i can just like do other stuff today and like i'm gonna take advantage of it being a colder day and getting like the holiday spirit I'm, i think i'm gonna get the christmas decorations and stuff up later because i'm gonna get too busy after today i think so i want to go ahead and get it over with last night i was like you know what I'm fed up with not taking care of myself. Like I know in my last week of my life, I was talking about how I was starting out my morning, trying to start out my morning with like stretching, yoga, light workout, whatever. And I did that for like four days and then I got sick. <laughs> and now I'm like finally feeling like back to like pretty much normal. So I want to, you know, just take initiative, start my day off on the right note. Um, I don't want to work out at all, but I'm going to do it because my, like, just mental health and headspace just feels a million times better when I do. And I just, like, I'm craving, I don't know, I just, like, miss when I was in such a good routine with strength training and stuff because that's, like, not what I'm doing right now. I'm probably literally going to go walk on the treadmill, but that's okay because it's still movement and movement is medicine, so...
Okay, I'm home from the gym. My initial plan was to just walk on the treadmill until, or like for like 30 minutes and I was going to like respond to DMs and stuff like that. I got overwhelmed with my DMs just because I haven't been able to keep up with them as well, like while I've been, you know, taking this CPA and everything, like walking on the treadmill and then I was like, you know what? I kind of feel like doing shoulders and triceps. So that's what I did. Okay, I'm getting ready and something else I decided like yesterday was that I'm tired of just feeling like, I don't know, yesterday was just like, I'm tired of feeling like crap about myself. So I was like, I need to just get back into, especially like after you're sick, it's just like such a hit to your routine and like how you feel overall so it's just like hard to get back to everything um because you get so used to you know just not really doing much but resting when you're sick which is what you need to do but getting back into things i don't know i just had like this revelation when i was <laughs> sick i was like you know what this made me realize i am just tired of like not feeling good about myself like both like physically and mentally and um I just really wanted to get back into like the habits that I used to have and like I said last week I did get started doing that before I got sick but I was like you know I just um I feel so much better when I'm like actually you know taking care of myself you know what I mean and that part of that is exercising and part of that's actually getting ready for the day which is what I'm getting at right now <laughs> um I'm so bad about getting ready for the day especially with like being home like probably six days out of the week I stay home all day so it's really hard to like actually get ready and even if that means just like throwing on like a workout set even if I don't like go work out but just having something on that like makes me feel put together um makes a world of a difference and like today I'm wearing a matching sweatsuit which is like it doesn't have to be that but like it's cool today so that's what I'm doing but I wanted to share this because I just tried it for the first time um, and this is part of my whole like actually getting ready for the day because most of the time I'm too lazy to even do my morning skincare and I'll only do my nighttime skincare. I was like, I need to get back into doing my skincare in the morning and stop being just so like lazy and like acting like I can't do it. Um, but I got this Becca under eye brightening corrector and I ordered it off of Revolve because I figured Revolve had the fastest shipping out of like Ulta and Sephora and I don't even know if they sell this. But um... I had wanted this for a while and I was like, I'm just gonna sit on it and see if I want it. And y'all can tell like my dark circles are really bad, but if you can tell that this one is way darker than this one, it's because I already put this stuff on on this eye. And look at how much like brighter my, I mean, I did do my skincare too, but like my under eye is like so much brighter and like this one is so much more like actually dark. Like I still have a bag obviously, but like watch this craziness. Just get a little bit on my finger. And then we dab it in, doing a little on my eyelid too. Literally just doing my skincare and putting in brow gel and like literally putting this under my eyes just made me feel like a whole new woman. So just a reminder to do what you gotta do to take care of yourself and make yourself feel good about yourself. And I feel like so much more put together now. So I love that. Hi, um, I just had a mobile order for Abby. Abby? Yes. Come on up, we have it ready. All right, thank you. I'm in the drive-thru, getting Starbucks, getting coffee out like once a week, whether that's going to a coffee shop to study and getting coffee there, or going to a local place and like getting a coffee or just going by Starbucks in the morning, like whatever it is, is the best treat. Cause like I only do it like once a week, most of the time. And it's literally the best treat. Like I look forward to it so much. Um, but I'm trying out the sugar cookie latte so y'all don't have to. <laughs> um, I'm really intrigued by it just because it's made with the blonde rose espresso, which y'all know is like my favorite thing ever. But I wanted to show y'all my under eye area and like more natural type lighting and just like how bright it is. Like I know it's, I still have bags and they're still a little discolored, but it's so much better than what my face would look like without it, so. I'm having such a good day. I'm just like so happy with my coffee and the cold weather. It just like makes a world of a difference. Like I, who, who would be in a normal world like this happy about gloomy cold weather? I actually really like this sugar cookie latte. I got it half sweet because I was really worried about it tasting really artificial. I, the reason I don't like a lot of vanilla, like, or any really vanilla syrup and coffee, like from Starbucks or anything is because it tastes so artificial to me and I don't like that. Really, really good. It smelled so good. Like when I got it in my car, I was like, oh my gosh, it smells really good. And it's made with Bond Espresso, which y'all know is like my favorite thing from Starbucks. Like the only thing I really like a lot from Starbucks besides their cold foam. But I got it hot and I got it half sweet and I got it with oat milk instead of almond milk because I hate Starbucks almond milk. 
and it's really really good the more i drink it the more i like it and i would definitely order it again let's go look at some holiday decor and stuff and just have a good time in target on my day off and then we're gonna decorate when i get home I bought these two pillows, this this one and then that one over there on the right. They're not like, I bought them for options, like I'm not doing like one of each or anything like that. But I have um, three Euro pillows that we've had. We've had these for like two years, I think, but um, I bought the inserts at home. Um, the summer we lived in Dallas and then I bought the covers from uh, Amazon, but I just haven't found any like other Euro pillow covers that I like. And I wanted something with a different texture just because i don't know you can't really tell on camera as much but it just looks very cheap in person next to like the actual linen and i wanted something with more texture and i kind of wanted something with a contrast um so i couldn't decide like which one would look best and i'm literally gonna put these up today for christmas pillows so ignore those but i thought i would like the darker one more i just don't like the way it looks so i'm definitely gonna return that one i kind of like this one because it has like white in it um, but it still has like the darker look to it. And I was going to get one that was like a very neutral taupe color kind of, but I was worried it wasn't dark enough. So I may return that. I am going to return that one and I may try the taupe one, but y'all let me know what you think. If it like looks good with just like the white or whatever, or if it looks bad, um, or if the white ones look best, I just don't really know. I just didn't really like the way the texture of it looked and I just haven't found anything that I really like, but I thought I would at least buy one of each to like see what they look like so I can know, try it out and then return them if I didn't like them. Okay, I've been home from Target for a little bit, but I had to get some work done for YouTube really quickly. Um, actually, it was about an hour and a half, but I wanted to show you all the Christmas type things that I got from Target today. I didn't get a lot of like decor or anything just because I know I didn't need much because um, I still have a decent amount from last year and all the years before in my other apartments, but I got this cute little black tree. I thought this would look good in our living room, like on top of our coffee table books or something. Um, but it's just like this little stone thing. It was $5. All of this, I think, was under $5 except for, or not under $5, under $10 except for these shorts. But I got this really pretty Jingle Bell like garland. They had a lot of really cute garlands, but once I saw the Jingle Bell one, I was like, oh my gosh, this is the one I want. Um, and I think I'm going to string it along our TV stand. Um, I got some more sleep shorts. Can never have too many sleep shorts. I love, love, love the Stars Buzz brand. Um, and I get a medium because I like them to be like a little bit roomy. And they're only $13 and I have like a bunch of different ones there. So I bought the shorts. I got this mug, I think it was $5, but guys, it's literally so cute. I have one other Christmas mug that I got from Anthropology a while ago. That's like a Christmas tree, but this one's so cute. And then I got this little uh, Christmas hand towel. I just love the little gold details in it. And I love the green. Don't really play any razors, but it's not Christmas related. So here's the bad situation. Um, the cream pillow is gonna go. I found one on Target that I love that's green and I think it'll tie in with the Joy pillow um, that I can put right there with it. I just hate the way you know the cream looks against like the all white. But I don't know what I'm gonna do about the pillow back there situation if I'm gonna return that one or keep it. Um, right now with these pillows, it's like too much I think, but um, I'm thinking like post Christmas season, post having holiday pillows. So then I've got my little reindeer over there. I'm about to plug this tree in. It is like literally so tall on top of this dresser because it used to be on top of my three drawer dresser if I remember. Um, and then I put this little thing from the dollar section at Target right there. And then we always have those candles right there. So 
that's what that looks like and that's how the room's decorated and then in here i put this little tree from the target dollar section as well and one of my little ryan porter candles from my fat fit fun box but i won't light it right there anytime i light a candle over here i don't do it underneath the plant because i always have a plant right there Just finished putting up the tree. It looks so good. Um, I'm so happy. This just like literally gives me so much more happiness than I have by myself on a daily basis. It's just like the best thing ever. I did the little Jingle Bell garland along the base of the TV. Got the Yule log on. I love the way this black tree looks here. I almost didn't get it because I was like, honestly, like the black tree, it's just kind of like, eh. But <laughs> it actually looks really good on the coffee table because I think it just like, I don't know, it just looks really good to me um, and I love it. So that's that. I don't really have a lot of like little, like how I had a ton of pumpkins. I don't really have like a ton of little Christmas things, but I kind of like it because the Christmas tree is like the main focus. Um, and we moved Ella's kennel over there because it was over here. This is like a random thing of arrangement. Some of those I bought at Target over the years and then the poinsettia flowers I've had since like my sophomore year of college. Um, I'm gonna get a different vase though because though I don't think the white looks good in the kitchen. Um, and I don't think that bowl's gonna stay there, but I just have it there for right now. But that's the kitchen and then I need to put the little hand towel I got today. My hair, this one has been my favorite for so long and I got from Target my senior year of college, but a whole like randomly gotten it somehow. I think we've just worn it out because we use it all the time. But I'm gonna have this one right here. I went ahead and organized this closet too. It was just a mess on the floor. Basically we had a ton of boxes from Griffin's computer when he brought it back here. Um, so we put those boxes in our closet so that they wouldn't be on the floor and some hoodies and stuff in here and then we have some of our like just casual shoes to go outside I have Ella's stuff and then this plant we normally have it out but um because of the Christmas tree it's we have to put it right here <laughs> so that's where it is temporarily and then we have like um some cleaning stuff more cleaning stuff and then my little ring light but I just thought I'd update y'all that I actually organized something today Happy Friday. Good morning. I got a little bit of a later start to this morning on studying. I started around 11 because I got up at like 8.30. I just had a hard time falling asleep. So I was like, I'm just going to read on my Kindle. And I'm reading Ugly Love and I'm a little, I'm like 60% done with it, I think. And I couldn't put it down. So I read for like an hour last night. And then I still couldn't really fall asleep after that for like 30 minutes or so. So I have in my schedule, if y'all saw my schedule in my last vlog, how I want to do like, or I my goal is like eight uh eight cents a day and i'm actually trying to do more than that but that's like the bare minimum i need to do in order to finish everything in time but i'm trying to do a little more than that right now um over the next couple days i'm trying to aim for like 12 a day which is like totally doable um just because of a trip i'm going on soon i don't want to have to like really do much besides review while i'm there like i don't want to have to be like sitting down and like doing sims while i'm there so that's that see so, yeah, i'm trying to get a little bit more done but the way i approach it um it's the same for like my other exams i basically read through the module quickly and then i redo the multiple choice i got wrong and then i do the sim and i take notes on the sims if I need to. Um, and I try to like watch the videos for the, like sped up for the explanation of how to solve the Sims because it's just a good reinforcement. But that's what I'm doing. Just a little update. Um, not much going on today. So yeah, I'm gonna keep studying.